Bitcoin Bytes. Here's your three-minute take on the crypto OG, Bitcoin. In 2009, a pseudonymous creator called Satoshi Nakamoto revolutionized finance with a single invention, Bitcoin. It's a layer one blockchain and its consensus mechanism is proof of work. Bonus fact, Bitcoin's first block contains a hidden message. This headline from the London Times serves as both a timestamp and a critique of the financial system Bitcoin was created to challenge. It's the first, it's the biggest, and for many, it's still the best. Bitcoin paved the way for one of the biggest technological revolutions since the dawn of the internet. Satoshi offered the world a decentralized electronic cash solution, an alternative to the trust-based world of fiat currency, where trust can be in short supply. Bitcoin has a fixed supply cap of 21 million coins. How are these Bitcoins generated? Bitcoin mining is essentially a race where miners use powerful computers to solve tough maths problems. The first to solve it adds a new block of transactions to the blockchain and earns Bitcoins and transaction fees as a reward. This process, called proof of work, ensures that solving these problems is hard, but verifying the solution is easy. Roughly every four years, the reward for mining new Bitcoin blocks is halved. This halving is designed to keep the supply of Bitcoin scarce, and the last Bitcoin is expected to be mined around 2140. It's worth remembering there might be less Bitcoin in circulation than you think. An estimated 20% of all mined Bitcoin is lost or missing. Bitcoin's limited supply also leads some investors to view it as a hedge against inflation. The beauty of Bitcoin is uh, you put it in an asset that can grow and be a hedge against inflation. And argue it behaves in a similar way to other finite precious metals like gold. Hence its nickname, Digital Gold. Bitcoin allows for direct cross-border payments and international remittances. The big benefit is that it cuts out the need for intermediaries like big banks. And that means the users keep a bigger cut. Bitcoin's micropayments via the Lightning Network enable the transfer of very small amounts of value, often fractions of a cent, that TradFi systems keep clear of due to high processing fees. What does that mean in the real world, when El Salvador did this? That is why next week, I will send to Congress a bill that will make Bitcoin a legal tender in El Salvador. It meant you could walk into a shop in San Salvador and pay for your coffee in Bitcoin. Interested in Bitcoin? Add it to your CoinMarketCap watchlist to track every move.